Okay, so we've been writing cells and calculating cell voltages for them, and the voltage can tell us whether a reaction is spontaneous or not. And it's a fairly simple distinction. If the cell voltage is positive, it means the reaction is spontaneous, meaning mix those chemicals and the reaction will begin all by itself. If the cell voltage is zero or negative, then the reaction is non-spontaneous, meaning if you mix those chemicals, nothing will happen. They'll just sit there. And so, let's see if we can do this. What They give us each of these reactions and they say, find the cell potential, use that to determine whether the reaction is spontaneous or non-spontaneous. They could also ask this by just saying, determine the spontaneity of each of the following reactions. So, what's happening in this first one? We have zinc metal turning into zinc 2. So off we go to our data book and we go looking for zinc 2, which I seem to remember is just below the midway point. Okay, it's a fair bit below the half midway point. It's here. Now what we have in the data book is zinc 2 reducing to zinc metal, which has a voltage of minus 0 0.76 volts. But what's happening here is zinc metal turning into zinc 2, the opposite. So we have zinc metal oxidizing to zinc 2, giving up 2 electrons, and for that the voltage will be 0 0.76 volts. Did I forget the negative? No I didn't. This reaction has a negative voltage, but our reaction is the other way around, and when you flip a reaction you flip its voltage, so this really is plus 0.76. The other thing that's happening is we have iron 2 reducing to iron metal, which is... here we are. There's iron 2 reducing to iron metal. Voltage for that is minus 0 0.45. And there's no need to flip this one because iron 2 turning into iron 0 is exactly what's happening in our reaction. And for that we have negative 0 0.45 volts. Did I get that right? Yeah, minus 0.45. And there should be a couple electrons in this iron reaction to make it make sense plus two electrons. Okay, so if we add those together we get this reaction. I won't, re I won't rewrite that, it's simple enough. And when you add two reactions you add their voltages. So we're getting positive 0 0.31 volts out of this. The fact that that's a positive voltage tells us that this reaction is spontaneous. If you put zinc metal in an iron 2 solution you'll start to get a reaction immediately. Okay, what do we have here? We have some chlorides here which I'm not sure are changing anything. It's hard to see what the oxidation states of these things are in this form, or well it's a little inconvenient, so I'm going to break this up. This solution is actually, we have three chromium and we have aluminum ions, which have to be 3 plus, and chlorides. I know there are six chlorides, but I just, I'm just i just interested in oxidation states here. And from that we get chromium-2 and chlorides again, and aluminum in solid form. So, from a redox perspective, What's, ha what's interesting in this reaction? We have chromium getting oxidized. It goes from 0 up to 2. We have aluminum getting reduced from 3 down to 0. And as long in per as we're in redox mode, this chloride is not interesting to us. It didn't get oxidized or reduced, so who cares? The reactions that we want to look at are chromium oxidizing to chromium 2. Let's find that. Chromium, where are you? I think it's a little below half. That's cobalt, here we are. Chromium... No, sorry, that's 3 to 2. Here's 2 to 0, it's lower. Chromium 2 reducing to chromium metal is minus 0.91 volts. Now, we have the opposite thing. We have chromium 2 turning into chromium, which is... CR turning to CR2 plus, that would be plus 0 0.91 volts. Flip a reaction, you flip its voltage. The other thing we have happening is aluminum 3 reducing to aluminum metal, 
and aluminum is down here. Aluminum 3 going to aluminum is minus 1.66 volts. Aluminum 3 turning into aluminum minus 1.66 volts. Did I remember that number right? Yes. Okay. So add this up and, well, do we even need to add it up? At a glance I can see we have a small positive number minus a bigger number. This is going to end up negative, which means the reaction is non-spontaneous. You can work out the actual voltage if you wish. It's, uh, what is it, 0.75 volts? But to answer their question, all we need to see is that we have a small positive versus a big negative. The overall cell voltage will be negative. Fair enough. What do we got here? Uh, let's see. Again, some of these things, I'm interested in whether the things got oxidized or reduced, and so I want to break these up. On the left side, we have silver ions and nitrate ion and peroxide, hydrogen peroxide. On the other side we have silver metal and hydrogen and nitrates and oxygen. So, sorry, minus there. If we're in redox mode, I, I suspect we may not care about this nitrate ion, but let's make sure. Let's see, silver, nitrate, and peroxide. What's going on here? If we go to our redox table and clean up the old stuff, if you read down the left side of this, and remember that our reactants are silver ion, nitrate ion, and hydrogen peroxide, our first hit is right here. Silver is our strongest oxidizer, so that will be our forward reaction. And going the other way, if you read up the right side, you get a whole lot of nothing until you get to hydrogen peroxide right here. That's our strongest reducer. So, silver ion getting reduced to silver metal is 0 0.80 volts. Silver plus, I'm writing these kind of abbreviated because the voltages are what I really care about here. The silver reaction is 0 0.80 volts. And the other reaction is peroxide turning into, I guess, hydrogen ions and oxygen. And that's this. This reaction is 0 0.70 volts, but if you flip it, as we have to, you get minus 0 0.70 volts. So I'm just going to say the H2O2 thing is minus 0 0.70 volts. Total is positive 0 0.10 volts, which means this reaction is spont, short for spontaneous. This top one had a voltage of 0 0.31, so that's also spontaneous. And B came out to minus 0.75 volts, I believe, which makes it non-spontaneous. If you put those chemicals in a bowl and watch, you will be disappointed. Nothing will happen.